बिस्मिल्लाम असल एक्टिव पैसे वॉइस सीरीज डे ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एक्टिव वॉइस इन टू पैसे वॉइस ऑफ डिफरेंट टेंसेज स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसे वॉइस आर टू डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरिंग सेंटेंसेज बेस्ड ऑन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द सब्जेक्ट एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड In active voice, the subject of the sentence performs the action expressed by the verb, and the object receives that action. The structure of active voice sentences is usually subject plus verb plus object. Let me repeat: subject plus verb plus object. As far as passive voice is concerned, in passive voice, the subject of the sentence receives the action expressed by the verb, and the object becomes the focus of the sentence. The structure of the passive voice sentences is usually object plus verb plus subject. Let me repeat: object plus verb plus subject. In passive voice, the emphasis is on the action rather than the doer of the action. It is often used when the doer of the action is unknown, unimportant, or when the speaker or writer wants to shift the focus of the recipient of the action. So, students. as i have explained in my previous videos the how to convert active voice into passive voice subject will take the place of object and object will come in the place of subject in passive voice okay we will always use past participle use of by will be there pronoun changes will be there okay in simple present tense we use is are am as helping verbs in passive voice is are am will be used as helping verbs in passive voice okay so now i will show you the example she delivers the letters she delivers the letters this sentence is from simple present tense okay the letters are delivered by her pronoun changes will be there i will be changed into me she will be changed into her he will be changed into him they will be changed into them we will be changed into us and you it and nouns will not changed okay so here i have changed she into her she delivers the letter this is active voice of present indefinite tense or simple present tense the letters are why i have used are is are am are the helping verbs of present indefinite tense passive voice okay my subject is plural that is why i have used are with plural pronouns we use are with singulars we use is okay the letters that is why i have used are the letters are delivered by her okay next is past simple simple past tense or past indefinite tense in active voice we use second form of the verb all right in passive voice we use was or were as helping verbs and we use third form of the verb all right pronoun changes will be there use of by and past participle okay she delivered the letters the letters were delivered by her all right future simple or future indefinite in future indefinite in active voice we use will or shall as helping verbs and we use past form of the verb for example she will deliver the letters so i have converted this into passive the letters will be delivered by her as you can see subject has taken the place of object and object has taken the place of subject all right will be is helping verb for passive voice okay use of third form of the verb as you can see okay the letters will be delivered by her next example is present continuous tense in present continuous tense we use is are am and present participle present participle means using ing with first form of the verb okay 
she is delivering the letters in passive voice we use is r m plus being as helping verb and past participle the letters are being delivered by her okay next tense is past continuous tense in past continuous tense we use was and were as helping verbs and we use ing with first form of the verb for example she was delivering the letters in passive voice we use war was and were plus being okay with third form of the verb for example the letters were being delivered by her going to so how you will convert the sentence with going to in active voice she is going to deliver the letters the letters are going to be delivered by her next tense is present perfect in present perfect tense in active voice we use has and have as helping verbs and we use third form of the verb okay in active voice in passive voice we use has have with being b w e e n been okay has been and have been with third form of the verb for example she has delivered the letters the letters have been delivered by her next example is she had delivered the letters she had it's past perfect tense in past perfect we use had as helping verb and we use past participle past participle means third form of the verb she had delivered the letters in passive voice we use had been with third form of the verb okay the letters had been delivered by her future perfect tense in future perfect active voice we use will have with third form of the verb okay and in passive voice we will use will have been with third form of the verb for example she will have delivered the letters the letters will have been delivered by her infinitives students in infinitives you know how we will do this she has to deliver the letters the letters have to be delivered by her models she must deliver the letters the letters must be delivered by her we will use must be must can could would ought to should may might etc these are the models okay and with model verbs we use be okay for example must so must be can can be may may be might might be okay so what you have learnt in today's lesson how to convert active voice into passive voice in passive voice we will use by we will always use third form of the verb subject will take the place of object and object will come in the place of subject pronoun changes will be there okay and helping verb will be different in all the tenses in passive voice in present simple tense we use is r m as helping verb in passive voice in present continuous we use is r m plus being in present perfect we use has been or have been in simple past we use was or were in past continuous we use was being or were being in past perfect we use had been in future simple we use will be future in simple future we will use will be and in future perfect we will use will have been or shall have been as helping verbs in passive voice okay i hope you will like this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share